Since creating my mega city maps, I've had tons of comments with people asking, how do I change the biomes for those maps? So it's perfect for me. Let me show you how to do that today. So where's the file that we're going to be editing today? It's in our app data roaming directory for seven days to die. There are lots of folders here. Some you may have, some you may not, but you'll definitely have the generated worlds folder. And within there, we can see all the different maps that I have generated. And within them, you'll see many different files. But this biomes.png with all its wonderful colors is what we're going to be editing and manipulating today. <laughs> There are a couple of ways to make a map. Hit new game and then type in, well, a game name if you need to, but obviously a world generation seed. When you've got the right world size, that's important today with our biomes, then hit start and off we go. We can also hit advanced generation. Again, put a world seed in there, pick the world size. Each biome is special for each uh, size, as in it is a different size map. Pick what you want on the kind of little drag and drop things. I don't know, a bit more pine forest maybe, maybe loads of snow, I don't know, and then hit generate world. So what do we have? Well, that's quite interesting with a couple of bits of waste in there but as it draws it all in we're going to nip off go and find the file and then let's see what we can do to mess around with it so back in our generated world folders we see the original four that we saw at the beginning of the video but now we have a shizumu territory which we've just made and in there all the files including this biomes.png file which has these interesting bit of wastes i might want to keep this and this is what i often do i take these files and if i do like them then i make sure that i give them a copy i head over over to somewhere where I like to keep these things and then I rename it for another day so we could call this a double wasteland and uh, what I should do at all of these is I should make sure that I put 8k at the front or maybe take all the files that are 8k and put them in a folder called 8k now this is important because you can't use an 8k biome file on a 4k or 12k map because these files here are obviously you know specifically sized for those maps i've also created some single biome pngs here and you can see they're all one color of the four main types if i was to take something like this forest biome and replace the existing biomes.png file making sure that i call it biomes.png then i would get that in game now let's hit new game and then move over to that new map we just made called Shazam territory we're going to quickly nip into the game just to generate a save game so i can show you the difference between changing an existing save game and uh, making a complete biome change so here we are in the game i'm going to quickly go into debug mode so i can fly about for a bit we'll get rid of the pop-up screens um, we might as well make the whole look thing look a little pretty for us right now and let's just zoom up into the sky and have a look here are our different biomes we've got that little wasteland bit over here I do believe there's another one somewhere over here, or maybe I've got mixed up. But anyway, we've uh, we've loaded up the map and it all looks pretty good. What we want to do now is we want to go and find ourselves something specific to a specific biome. So I'm going to nip down here to the good old kind of desert area, and I'm just looking for not the stone or anything like that. I'm looking for a good old piece of shale. If I open up the map, I'll have to bring up everything back again. Then if I nip down down here here we go we should see some somewhere that's quite interesting there i think it's a lot of nitrate there um i'm not quite sure what this is here but let's nip over to this little waypoint over here and hopefully there it is we have some shale um yep that's the one on the map that's what i want so i'm going to position myself right here on purpose because we're going to edit this biome and i'm going to show you the difference between editing it for a save game and for uh, the, the game overall so here i am back with my biome files collection let's copy the forest biome file back in the generated worlds for this shizumo territory and we can see the existing biomes.png i don't want that there but i'm going to copy all of that because i'm going to delete this and then the forest biome that i saved earlier i'm going to rename to biomes.png so what happens now if i go back into my existing game once i've changed that file and there we are back in the exact position we were uh, excuse me zombie i really don't need you right now let me just uh get rid of you uh we're in exactly the same place but the the deal is here that we still have the incorrect uh, kind of ores here so this is all the lovely little shell we now have a map that is all green but you can see the dust that we're getting because we're actually still 
in the desert itself and it's got all the standard desert stuff that we would find you know there's all our cacti and whatnot so if you do this if you change the biomes file and then go back into the game yes you will see trees and you'll be able to hit them but everything else is still to do with the actual biomes that it generated with when you started the game so what about if i start a brand new game now of the same map will it be different so let's start another new game for shizumo territory and uh we'll not make that public i do hate that that is default and uh we will go in and see what it looks like so we're back in the uh the forest as we always start in the game which is fine we just need to move ourselves about and check if it's all different for sure everything will be green we know everything will be green but what if we go to those same coordinates exact same coordinates as we were on the map before and you can see that those ores have gone if i just quickly turn off the trees that is the building that we saw in the distance earlier on and uh, basically we are now actually in the forest biome so if you change a biome file uh, the existing game you have well it will not change the actual you know biome itself it will just change what it looks like but if you then start a new game and that's why you need to change your biome files before you start a new game then you're truly going to get what you have drawn in your biomes.png file so now how do i there's many ways of doing it how do i change those files myself and uh, mess around with them to make them exactly how i want them to be if you get collecting these things over time every time you generate a map you'll eventually have loads of them now these are all 8k so i can use these on an 8k map and this one here looks quite nice lots of pine forest bit of desert maybe that's all i want to play so what i'll do is i'll take a copy of that head over to my generated worlds and let's say i was to want to play this north babesa county i could go into here and all i have to do is paste this file in here remove the existing one okay so we want to actually delete that one again make sure you've got a backup and change the one that we have added into biomes.png so that's the first way you can easily and quickly swap between biomes so i've reset back to the original biomes.png for the north babesa county and i'm going to drag this into a graphics package now you can use the graphics package of your choice i'm sure well already people do moan at me for using paintshop pro 7 but i've used it all my life and i'm very very old so leave me to it and if we get our little pen then we could draw over these little extra bits you see they always appear don't they we want to kind of like blank out these extra bits of green that might appear at the side or something like that it's simply a matter of painting just make sure that your drawing tool uh, doesn't kind of have any anti-aliasing or any kind of dithering at the edges you want these to literally be one color or the other we don't want to uh, introduce any other pixels as it messes things up we may also have regions where we think oh i don't really like this i think i want to just smooth this all out and you can get painting to your heart's content and make anything that you want anything that comes into your imagination now of course some people have said to me and this will be the final part of the video now some people have asked me how do i get you know kind of paint over an exact city or something like that and that can be a bit of a challenge but uh, i'm going to show you a way of doing that by using a website to generate the whole map and we're going to overlay these and then paint in the parts that we want where cities are now i've covered this website in a video before there's a link in the little box above but on this website you can take all your map files drag them into here and what it will do is after a little bit of time Time, it will process these and it will draw you the map showing you where all the all the POIs are and all of that kind of stuff and here it is we can see our lovely map we can see where the cities are and all of this lot what I would love though is to maybe make sure that the green hits the city or maybe even bring this into the desert I might want to kind of like change this area into wasteland where this big city is or this one here but there might be something you want to do so what can we do in order to help ourselves do that well the first First thing that we're going to do on here is we are going to make our sign size really small this is going to allow us to see the, the city in its true size and then the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our biomes and we're going to remove them and this will mean we'll have a nice blank map then we're going to turn the scale from 0.1 to 1 so this is a one-to-one -one size map this is rather big so if we hit download then we can save this file in a, a specific place and we can have a good look at it so now i've opened the original biomes.png and also the world file that we generated on the website you can see there's little crosses for every single poi the road and the red line is the radiation zone i'm going to highlight all of that and take a copy and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste this importantly as a new layer 
Now, this means that we have multi layers and we can edit just the biomes layer, uh, but we can also see here the little crosses and the roads and everything all ready for us. So by selecting the first layer, what it does mean is when I start drawing on here, I get to edit what's going on but I do not end up messing up the top layer that's showing me where everything is. I might want to take the city here and think, oh, let's do something a bit wild. Let's take the wasteland part here and then let's make this all wasteland, this entire city here. This will be a bit of fun uh, and we'll just kind of go through that. Of course, using the fill tool allows us just to fill that up. We might want to do something completely silly. Let's just do that for uh, testing purposes now and make the uh, little section here, not fill in, I want to draw make a little section here with this little place uh maybe in the wasteland but i think it's going to be all covered with snow well that's all looks rather uh, interesting but uh let's uh now save this file uh but what we're going to do is we're going to remove the layer that we don't want and by deleting that layer we then have our original file again we're going to save that and uh, then we are left with our new biomes file with our couple of interesting features so here we are in north babeser county let's get the old god mode on get rid of these things for the very last time and then let's go up in the sky and have a good look around what do we have did it work well if we go and search for these different areas then well look what we're going to get we're going to get our beautiful waste and oops a daisy let's get rid of that fog because i don't like all of that here right now uh, there it is look 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 there is our wasteland area with our funny looking um little area that is our beautiful snowy town i don't think i'd do that in a normal game there's the desert area with the uh the, the kind of wasteland central bit so as we go in there look at that the changes it all gets a bit dark and danking and horrible and it will be wasteland for sure and then if we head over to this little town here then what we do is we can see where i've expanded with the uh, little paintbrush tool i've expanded expanded kind of this area so it isn't butting right up to the desert and we can see where i've used the tool don't worry that there are individual pixels because it does blend itself in from one zone to the other very subtly there over a couple of uh, over a couple of blocks and you can see it looks quite nice really if we go over to an area where we haven't edited it you can see what the game does and it's a lot more kind of jolty and janky where we can see these like straight lines here where it kind of goes around the edges as it draws draws it so i do prefer uh, kind of manipulating the edges so we get a smooth line rather than these kind of slightly offset and square little sections so anyway look it's whatever you want to get up to you've just got a mess and if you do mess with it and you do make something a bit more interesting maybe you want to kind of go up to uh, different rivers even if they're not in the uh, pine forest and kind of make them green around the edge or make this little you can have a little oasis here couldn't you It'd be kind of nice but you can do anything so do head over to the discord links in the description description thank you for watching today and thank you to the members here on youtube who support me with the making of the videos if you'd like to do that then as long as you're over 18 you'll get access to our community server and of course thank you to everyone who is a subscriber because we've just reached 2000 which is amazing but can you help me reach 5000 i know that seems a big goal but then i would be able to take part in the new alpha streamer weekends which would be amazing for us but of course you know if you've enjoyed it like it if you haven't thumbs down but please drop a comment too and uh you know have a great day i'll see you later enjoy the maps goodbye